Hi, my name is Yvonne Campos and I am the founder of the Next Act Fund. It's a woman-focused angel fund. We invest in women-led, women-run businesses. We, we started the Next Act Fund because we know that women business owners across the board have to start their businesses with 33% less capital than men. So they have less access to money, the resources they need to grow their businesses. And we felt like it was the right time and the right place to start supporting women business leaders and owners to help them grow their companies to the next level. I would say a challenge in the business is always you want to grow a business and you don't have the resources to grow it. So you're always trying to figure out how can I hire someone? How can I get another location? How can I expand without the resources that I need? So we had to figure out ways to have access to capital and get some additional resources by trying to look at everything that was available to us at the time and trying to take advantage of it. It's always about having access to capital for growth. To start my business, one of my businesses, I actually had a piece of property in Texas and I refinanced that piece of property and used those dollars to get the business started. So that's really, I had, had the cash to do that. Um, another time, I had a friend of mine that was taking a break from his company and had a non-compete, and he had the skills that were um, to be able to fill out a, a, a request for funds from the state of Pennsylvania. I didn't have those skills. I didn't have anybody on my team that could do that. So I brought him in as a consultant to help me build that RFP or that, that documentation for that. And so then with his help, we were able to then go to the state of Pennsylvania and got a very nice loan for $150,000 for 2% interest. So that was fantastic. But I think it's about knowing people that can help you. That's what you need to be on the, on the lookout for when you have a business of your own. Well, Latina means that's who I am. That's how I was brought up. And I will say that one of the important things to me about being a Latina is that I feel like, because of some of the success that I have had, is that I am a good role model. I am someone that can actually, that other Latinos can actually see and hear and see that, that, that it's possible. It's possible to have a successful business. It's possible to be a woman-owned business with revenues over millions of dollars. So I think being a role model and a Latina role model is what's important to me. I founded WPO in Pittsburgh about 20 years ago. WPO stands for Women Presidents Organization. And it is a, an international organization that's made up of women that have their own businesses that have revenues over a million dollars. Across all businesses, men and women, somewhere between around 8% of the companies ever break that million dollar mark. And uh, women have about 3 or 4%, men have about 3 or 4% 3 or 4 of that. But what happens then is men tend to then build much bigger businesses, not always, but in general. So what was important is working with the WPO chapters. Each chapter is made of 20 women, non-competing businesses, and we meet monthly, and it's really a peer-to-peer -peer advisory board where we talk about our businesses, how to grow our businesses, what, what needs to be done, what kind of issues we're having, because if you have this issue, someone else in the group has had that same issue. I facilitate two chapters here in Pittsburgh, and very important to be able to have that kind of a resource and a sounding board for you as a business owner. Being a business owner is pretty lonely in many ways because you really can't talk to your employees about these issues. You can't necessarily talk to your spouse about this all the time. They don't want to hear it. And you know, a lot of your friends are not in the same boat because not everyone is a, is a woman business owner. So this group, the WPO, is invaluable, I think, to many, many women. And one of the key issues we're always talking about in WPO is access to capital. How do we grow? How do we have the dollars we need for growth? And certainly you can grow organically by the revenue that you bring in. But it's very difficult to grow and do a dramatic step up on your own dollars. So you've got to find resources for those dollars and it becomes very difficult many times. And so you, you can either go to traditional sources like banks and so on and so forth. Sometimes they'll work with you, sometimes they won't. But you have to look at access to capital in other venues. If you are a company that wants to exit within the next seven to 10 years, you might consider going to an angel investor who might want to be able to put dollars into your company to help you grow it. 
so that you can exit and then everybody shares in the, uh, the profits at that point. Hi, I'm Yvonne Campos, the founder of The Next Act Fund, and I'm a Pittsburgh Latina.